Welcome to a captivating journey through the enigmatic island of Corsica, often dubbed as the angriest island in Europe. As the sun-kissed shores and rugged landscape stand in stark contrast to the reputation it holds, one can't help but wonder, what is it that fuels this anger? Join us as we delve into this and 71 other amazing facts about Corsica. 1. Corsica is the fourth largest island in the Mediterranean Sea, after Cyprus, Sardinia, and Sicily Islands. 2. The country sits between Italy's west coast and Sardinia's north coast. Despite this proximity, it became French territory in 1768 when it was sold to France. This unique blend of Italian influence and French governance has shaped Corsica's culture and identity. 3. Corsica is a territorial collectivity of France, which means that it exercises the powers of both a region and a department. It has a regional assembly which sits in a giaccio. The regional prefect is the top representative of the French central government on the island. 4. Corsican culture has a fascinating tradition called the Vendetta of the Meal, Vendetta di Uprato. In this unique practice, when a dispute or grudge needed resolution, instead of violence, a mediator was called upon to arrange a special meal between the two parties. This meal was conducted in silence and it was intended to bring the conflicting parties together in a peaceful and reconciliatory manner. 5. Ajaccio, Corsica's main town, proudly claims the birthplace of Napoleon Bonaparte in 1769. Napoleon's early years on the island instilled in him a strong Corsican identity. At just nine years old, he departed for a military school in northern France, igniting the journey that would lead to his extraordinary rise as a military genius and influential leader in European history. Today, Ajaccio preserves his legacy with historical sites and museums. Maison Bonaparte, Musée Fesch, Ajaccio Cathedral are some of the examples of such places. 6. Corsica has had its share of peculiar laws over the years. For instance, it was once illegal to name your pig Napoleon on the island. This quirky law supposedly aimed to prevent any disrespect towards the historical figure. 7. While Corsicans are hospitable and nice, there are also some stereotypes of them being quick-tempered. They are the kind of people who will narrow their dark eyes at you when you point out that they haven't really been working all that hard today. 8. Corsica's weather and good dirt make it a great place to grow grapes and make wine. They make red wine from special grapes called Niliaciu and Skiliaciu. Some popular Corsican wines you might find are Patrimonio, Vin de Corse, Calvi, and Ajaccio. 9. Corsica boasts three other significant settlements, Court, Bastia, and Sartine. Each town possesses a unique character and historical importance. 10. As you explore Sartine's medieval charm, don't miss the Place de la Liberation. This central square is surrounded by old stone churches and features the Church of Saint-Marie, which dates back to the 15th century. 11. While you probably think of Coca-Cola as a distinctly American creation, it was actually a Corsican chemist who first invented the drink. Angelo Mariani was an entrepreneur born in Perro Casavecchie who came up with a tonic drink known as Vin Mariani in 1863. 12. Getting too serious here? Let's lighten things up with a few funny phrases from the Corsican language. The first one, tocha a tocha pa sapi se tocha, which translates to touch to find out if it's touchable. This playful saying challenges someone's bravery or curiosity. Another one is, kumu si dumani fusi pasca, which translates to as if tomorrow were Easter. It's similar to saying when pigs fly in English, expressing skepticism about the likelihood of something happening. 13. Verdant forests, including the famous Aguil de Bavela, reveal a unique geological phenomenon. These towering granite needles were shaped by millennia of wind and water erosion. 14. We recommend you indulge in Corsican cuisine whenever you visit Corsica. The cuisine is a perfect blend of French and Italian traditions. Dishes like figateu, a type of sausage, cassole corse, a local take on the classic cassole, and various pasta dishes showcase the culinary fusion. 15. On May 5, 1992, a catastrophe happened during the semi-final of the Coup de France. The local team, SC Bastia, faced the Olympique de Marseille, by far the best team in France at that time. The Corsican executives decided to add 50% more seats because of the popularity of Marseille, and that resulted in a major instability of the stand. Before the game, it collapsed, killing 18 and injuring more than 2,300 people. 16. 
A Mediterranean climate prevails on the coasts, where the average temperature is 51 degrees Fahrenheit, 10.5 degrees Celsius in winter, and 60 degrees Fahrenheit, 15.5 degrees Celsius during the rest of the year. It is cooler at higher elevations. The average summer temperature at the southern coastal city of Ajaccio is 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 21 degrees Celsius. 17. One of the historical buildings that showcases Corte's rich heritage is the Citadel de Corte. This fortress served as the headquarters of Pasquale Paoli during the Corsican Republic. 18. The island went on to be colonized by the ancient Greeks and Etruscans. Later, it became a territory of the Roman Empire. The Romans exploited the island's rich mineral deposits, which included copper and lead. The waters surrounding Corsica were also fertile fishing grounds for oysters and eels. Roman rule of the island was to collapse in the 5th century AD, along with the decline of the Roman Empire. 19. Corsica is queen of Mediterranean when it comes to beautiful beaches. Palambagia, Speroni, Rondinara are some other beautiful beaches you can visit in Corsica. 20. Corsica boasts natural hot springs like Caldane Springs in Bans de Caldan, Orezza Springs in Piede Croce, and Baracci Springs in Olmeto, renowned for their therapeutic qualities. 21. In Corsica, a salute means cheers. You'll probably get yourself a free glass of something if you say this. 22. The island's difficult journey, marked by fierce battles for independence, such as the Corsican Revolution of 1755 to 1769, in the Battle of Ponte Novo in 1769, in the steadfast preservation of its unique language and identity, Corsican people are renowned for their fiercely independent nature and deep-rooted sense of cultural pride. 23. As you travel around Corsica today, you'll notice that French is the most widely spoken language on the island. But there is also a native tongue, Corsican, that is alive and well and reflects the various waves of people who left their mark on the island. While Corsican has its roots in Latin, which was brought by the Roman Empire, it's closely related to the Tuscan dialect. It also incorporates influences from the French language, although it more closely resembles modern-day Italian. Corsican is spoken by around 150,000 people and has been taught in primary schools since 2000. 24. Chestnuts are greatly enjoyed and loved in Corsica. The chestnut flower derived from the trees is a cornerstone of Corsican cuisine, used to craft the famous falciatelli, a rustic Corsican bread cherished by locals and visitors alike. 25. There is a large Corsican diaspora, estimated to be larger than the population of the island itself, working principally in mainland France, although also in the United States in former French colonies. There are around 50,000 French people living in Corsica, and a further 50,000 new immigrants from Algeria, Morocco, Tunisia, Italy, and Portugal. 26. Meat in Corsica is frequently sourced from locally bred animals. It is highly flavorful thanks to the abundance of aromatic plants found on the terrain on which the animals feed. Corsica is also famous for its Corsican lamb, which has a peppery taste and a meaty texture that people love. 27. One of the most important sources of protein on the island of Corsica is cured meats, and the most famous of these comes from a Corsican breed of pig known as Cochon Nustrale. Originally, they were reared in semi-wild conditions and ate predominantly chestnuts, acorns, and roots. In the 1960s, interbreeding began to take place, so a group of local farmers joined forces to help save the Cochon Nustrale. It has since been awarded the AOP, Protected Designation of Origin, and there are ongoing efforts to help boost the number of Corsican pigs on the island. 28. Several different meat products are made from Cochon Nustrale, including spiced and smoked kappa and salted lanzu tenderloin. On charcuterie platters, you might also find prosciutto, a cured ham that is often served with figs or pickles, and figateu, a darkly colored U-shaped sausage. 29. At the northernmost tip of Corsica, the Cap Corse Peninsula is one of the prettiest areas of the island. The peninsula is covered by a range of foothills and fertile valleys where vines, fruit, and olives grow. 30. Until 1st January 2018, Corsica was divided into two departments, Hot Corse in the north and Corse du Sud in the south. After their merger, a new collectivity of Corsica, Collettività de Corsica, was established. 31. Among the island's notable urban centers, Ajaccio shines as a prominent city. Interestingly, Ajaccio is also referred to by its Latin name of Ajax. This dates back to the days when the island was a vital part of the Roman Empire. 32. As the first language spoken in Corsica, French holds significant prominence as the official language. 
However, Corsican, Corsu, is also spoken widely. It is a distinct language, a Roman language akin to Italian, is still spoken by a considerable portion of the population, particularly in rural communities and small towns. 33. While we're in Corsica, how about exploring a few phrases to understand the difference between French? So for instance, on a bright morning, in Corsican, you'd say, Bonjour, nous comment he? In French, the equivalent is, Bonjour, comment ça va? While in Italian, it becomes, Buongiorno, come stai? 34. One fascinating fact about Corsican cheeses is that the island is home to the unique and flavorful Corsican Braccio. This cheese holds the distinction of being one of the few French cheeses made exclusively from whey, a byproduct of cheese production. Braccio is protected under the European Union's PDO, Protected Designation of Origin Status, ensuring that only cheese produced in Corsica using traditional methods can bear the name Braccio. 35. Whether it is during a wedding, a funeral, or a festival, you will hear polyphonic traditional songs in Corsica. They either depict the story of the island or commemorate an important occasion. Traditionally, these songs are a cappella and are sung by four to six people. 36. The traditional Corsican songs depict the story of the island. The renowned A Flietta, a polyphonic singing group, celebrates Cessa la Solidarité, or solidarity in terms of independence, mutuality, integration, and complementarities in the harsh environment where Corsicans live and earn livelihood in perfect harmony. 37. A Corsican saying goes that you have to acknowledge your own in any funeral or wedding. In mourning or funeral occasions, the lamento or polyphony as a lively celebration of new hope after death is suggestive of the cycle of birth, life, death, rebirth. 38. A surreal coastal landscape awaits you at the Reserve Natural de Scandola. Overlooking the Gulf of Porto, this UNESCO-listed nature reserve is only accessible by boat. The Scandola Nature Reserve encompasses a remote mountainous peninsula and offshore islands formed from an ancient volcano. Crystal clear turquoise waters lap against cliffs in hidden coves. 39. One of the most bizarre characters in Corsican history was a German adventurer, Theodore von Neuhoff. Following a rebellion against Genoa in 1729, the Corsicans set up their own provisional government. In March 1736, von Neuhoff turned up, bringing weapons and promises of support from Britain. He accepted the title of king and bestowed various honors. However, as soon as he ran out of money, the Corsicans ran out of patience. He fled in November 1736 after a reign of only eight months. He eventually died in a debtor's prison in London. 40. Corsica's highest peak, Monte Cinto, majestically rises to an impressive height of 2,706 meters above sea level. To put this into perspective, Monte Cinto's soaring summit stands approximately twice as tall as the United Kingdom's renowned peak, Ben Nevis. 41. Monte Rotondo. This summit reaches an elevation of 2,622 meters and is known for its distinctive rounded shape, offering challenging yet rewarding trails for mountaineers. Palia Orba, also referred to as Pain de Sucre, Palia Orba stands at 2,525 meters and is a prominent peak in the Corsican mountainscape. 42. Corsica is renowned for being very sunny and very hot. Because of that, you won't find any Corsican sunbathing in the middle of the day. Instead, they like to go to the beach in the early morning or at sunset. The rest of the day, they are mostly staying fresh at home, behind closed shutters. 43. Corsicans speak very loudly in general. This might just be a trend of most regions and countries around the Mediterranean Sea, but in Corsica, you might be wondering why people fight so much because of how loud they are speaking. 44. Mont Doru with an elevation of 2,389 meters, is a popular hiking destination, offering diverse flora and fauna along its trails. Capu Tafunatu, at an elevation of 2,213 meters, Capu Tafunatu is known for its distinctive pyramid-like shape. 45. Corsican cuisine is known for its unique and adventurous use of ingredients, including a traditional dish called kazu marzu. This cheese is often considered one of the most unusual and acquired tastes in the culinary world. Kazu marzu is a type of cheese that undergoes a fermentation process involving live insect larvae. The larvae help to break down the cheese and give it a soft, spreadable texture. While some Corsicans consider it a delicacy and enjoy the strong flavors, it's worth noting that Kazu marzu has faced regulatory and health concerns due to the potential risks associated with consuming live insect larvae.
46. Preserving its abundant biodiversity, Corsica established the Parque Natural Regional de Corse in 1972, an invaluable sanctuary safeguarding thousands of rare and endangered animal and plant species. Golden eagles, bearded vultures, boars, deer are some of the wildlife you can spot in this park. 47. While exploring the beautiful nature reserve, you might see the Corsican nuthatch, a unique bird with blue and black feathers that can't be found anywhere else. It's a special part of Scandala's diverse wildlife. If you go swimming in the clear water by the coast, you might also spot the monk seal, a very rare and endangered sea animal that likes to stay in Scandala's secret spots. 48. Calanches de Piana is a stunning place created over millions of years by wind and water. It looks like a maze of red cliffs and rocks, and it's about 4,800 hectares big. When the sun shines on it, it creates really cool shadows, and it'll make you feel in awe. 49. Since it's really, really beautiful and important, the Calanches de Piana is now a special place recognized by UNESCO. It's like one of the most treasured things in Corsica. When you visit, you'll see cool stuff like the Capo Rosu, a big red rock that comes out of the sea. There's also a rock that looks like a loyal dog, called Tete de Chien. Another rock looks like a castle from the olden days, that's the Chateau Fort. And you'll see rocks that seem like they're carved into lace patterns, it's called Calanche Tortu. 50. If you explore more into Corsica, you'll find something else amazing called the Gorge de Spelunca. It's like a two-kilometer natural wonder, and it goes between the cute villages of Ota and Ivisa, not too far from the town of Porto by the coast. 51. Corsican inhabitants have a long-standing tradition known as Colomba, which translates to dove in English. This tradition involves the exchange of peace offerings, particularly among families that were once embroiled in conflicts or feuds. A Colomba is a symbolic gesture, often a gift or letter, extended as a means of reconciliation and resolution. 52. Did you know that Corsica inspired the American Constitution? Well, during the brief period of Corsican independence in the mid-18th century, Pasquale Paoli, leader of the independence from a Republic of Genoa, wrote a constitution. It was quite a modern constitution. The spirit of this constitution was inspired by the theories of Jean-Jacques Rousseau, famous French philosopher of the Enlightenment. It then inspired the drafting of the American Constitution of 1887. In fact, several cities in the United States are named after General Paoli. 53. The Genoese bridges stand out as captivating historical landmarks. Constructed with stone, these bridges feature an elegant humped arc design in a narrow roadway, reflecting the architectural style of the Genoese influence on the island's history. These stone marvels were erected during the Genoese occupation of Corsica in the 18th century. 54. One of the notable Genoese bridges is the Pont Genois de Spina Cavallo, spanning the Vecchio River near the village of Zanza. Constructed in the 18th century, this bridge was strategically positioned along the ancient mule tracks to facilitate trade and travel between villages. The term Spina Cavallo translates to horse's spine, alluding to the bridge's arched shape that resembles the back of a horse. 55. Figateu, a seasoned pork sausage, represents the island's love for charcuterie and is a must-try for meat lovers. Likewise, Fiadone, a delectable cheesecake prepared with brocio cheese, embodies the island's unique desserts. Additionally, Corsican miel, or honey, comes in various flavors, thanks to the diverse range of wildflowers found across the island. 56. Corsica proudly flies its unique flag, often referred to as the Flag of Corsica or the Moor's Head. It has a white stripe, and in the middle, there's a strong-looking black head facing to the right. This head reminds people of the old days when Corsica had connections with the Moors, a group of people. It is said that they would behead them and put their heads on spears to dissuade any future assault. 57. You might have heard of Voltaire, a French philosopher of the 18th century. After the Pont Novo battle, won by the armies of the King of France, Louis XV, he said that such brave actions in defense could only be seen among free peoples. 58. One of the most famous Corsicans was Francois Coty, who was born in Ajaccio in 1874 and went on to found Coty Incorporated, a hugely successful perfume and beauty empire. Despite launching his career in Paris, many of Coty's scents were inspired by the aromatic Corsican maquis that covers much of the island. Maquis is a scrubby underbrush made of aromatic shrubs. It is what covers most of Corsica and it is quite scented. Because of that, Corsica was nicknamed the Scented Isle. The fragrance actually reaches the sea and is quite strong. 59. 
Corsica boasts a musical heritage that has garnered global recognition. Its traditional polyphonic singing, a harmonious blend of voices, has earned a prestigious spot on UNESCO's list of intangible cultural heritage. 60. On August 21, 1975, a wine grower was taken hostage because he was supposedly adding sugar to his wine for more alcohol. This was the beginning of the nationalist battle on the island. On that day, 50 armed farmers started a separatist tendency by capturing the poor wine grower. After the ensuing battle with the security forces, two of them were killed and a separatist was injured. 61. It's illegal to wear a full-body swimsuit, commonly known as a burkini, on some Corsican beaches. 62. Corsican culture is steeped in superstitions that have been passed down through generations. One such belief is that placing a knife under the bed of a woman during childbirth will help ease the pain. 63. The Battle of Pont Novo took place on May 8th and 9th, 1769, between Royal French forces under the Comte de Va, a seasoned professional soldier with an expert on mountain warfare on his staff, and the native Corsicans under Carlo Salicetti. It was the battle that effectively ended the 14-year-old Corsican Republic and opened the way to annexation by France the following year. 64. By now, you've surely seen the flag of Corsica, yet you might be wondering as to its origin. It depicts a Moor's head in black with a white bandana, set against a white backdrop. It was adopted by the general of the nation, Pasquale Paoli, in 1755, although the origins of the flag are believed to date back to the 13th century. It was during this time that a young Corsican woman was captured by Moorish slavers, only to be freed by her fiancé. A battle broke out between the Corsicans and the Moors, whose leader, Mansour ben Ismail, was beheaded. His severed head went on to become a symbol of Corsican strength and freedom. Interestingly, the bandana originally covered the eyes of the Moor, and Paoli asked that it be moved above to symbolize the liberation of Corsican people from the Republic of Genoa. It later fell into disuse and was only readopted as the island's flag in 1980. 65. Tourism plays a major role in Corsican economy. The island's pleasant climate and the beautiful mountain and sea landscapes make it a popular destination among the French and other Western Europeans. However, the island has not had the same level of intensive development as some other parts of the Mediterranean and is thus relatively unspoiled. Tourism is particularly concentrated on the area around Porto Vecchio and Calvi in the west of the island and Bonifacio in the south. 66. In Corsica, they make really good honey, especially a type called Miliat honey. Bees collect nectar from lots of different plants, making the honey taste unique. Some famous honey brands in Corsica include Miel du Maquis, which is known for its rich and aromatic flavors, and Miel du Châtaignin, made from chestnut flowers, offering a distinct taste. 67. Bastia and Ajaccio on the coast are the largest towns and home to about half the island's population, with Bastia having 40,000 inhabitants and Ajaccio having around 90,000 inhabitants. In the early 21st century, some four-fifths of Corsica's population was urban, in northern Corsica, the Bologna is also densely populated. In contrast, sparsely populated rural villages, mostly situated at elevations between 650 and 2600 feet, have experienced much migration to the coast and to continental France. 68. Despite a long history of emigration, there is overall growth in population, though many of the newcomers are retirees, which has led to a progressive aging of the population. 69. The captivating Corsican coastline is adorned with extraordinary rock formations, such as the famed Le Ile Sanguinaire, Bloody Islands, near Ajaccio. The Isles Sanguinaires are about 15 kilometers from Ajaccio by boat, but only just off the headland at Ponte de la Parata. 70. Corsica's standard of living, particularly in the interior, is lower than that of continental France. The island's economic life is based primarily on tourism as well as the raising of sheep for ewe's milk, which is used to make fine quality cheeses, and the cultivation of citrus fruits, grapes, frequently with the aid of irrigation, and olives. Agriculture has been modernized along the eastern coastal plains. Industrial development is limited and focuses mainly on food processing. 71. The Island of Beauty is the curiosity of archaeologists. Corsica has many sites that hold treasures from antiquity. In particular, the Filitosa site, which is the pride of the inhabitants. These monuments, built between 4000 and 2000 BC, were large stones erected to celebrate the deceased. There are also 80 Menhir statues that were representations of enemies who died in battle, proof of the existence of a civilization that had its own way of life and funeral techniques. There you have it, all about Corsica. Let us know what island you'd like to see next in the comments below. Until then, peace out.